Today we've got more Mizuno iron testing requested by a viewer. We've got the Mizuno Pro 225 versus the 923 Hot Metal Pro. Thomas with the shots will break down all the data. And golfers, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment with your take on this comparison. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold with Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing at the Minnetonka Tour Van, and a fun Mizuno head-to-head -head today, Thomas. Irons, of course, the Pro 225, and the JPX 923 Hot Metal Pro. So the Pro 225 has been out for a while now. Yep. Uh, I'm coming up on a year now, so throughout all of 2022, you've been fitting golfers into this. Uh, so talk to me about this iron, and then also what we know now about the new 923 Hot Metal Pro. Yeah, I mean, both these irons are beautiful. I will mm -hmm. say the Mizuno Pro, whatever, 221, 223, 225, have felt exceptionally good off the club face. Mm -hmm. um, the 225 is a little bit more of like a player's distance yeah. iron. Um, mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of forgiveness to it. The loft is a little bit stronger than, I say, a traditional seven iron. Yep. But it's felt, it feels incredibly good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely has that, that you know, the grain flow forging feel that Mizuno you know, their, their MP line irons um, have had for decades, right? And so you get that feel here. Different type of build a little bit with the Hot Metal Pro. You got that nickel uh, chromoly that's kind of delivering the explosiveness and the ball speed. Um, it doesn't quite have the same feel properties as this model here. Right, and you touched on it. Explosiveness. Yep. This club, the, I mean, the JPX 921, 919, and yep. now 923, their Hot Metal irons have been explosive. Yep. And a lot of it, yes, it comes down a little bit to the loft, but also the material, the way the club is built as well, is going to generate a little bit more speed. Yeah. So this is an interesting test. Uh, they, at first glance, they both look very, very similar at address. Really? Okay. Yeah, very, very similar. I'm going to guess we'll talk about it during the video. I'm going to guess there's going to be a little difference in the feel. Yeah. Um, we've got one and a half degree difference in loft. Yep. So the Mizuno Pro 225 has got 30 degrees of loft on it. Uh, the Hot Metal Pro 223 three has 28 and a half degrees. Okay. So when I say explosiveness, it's probably going to be a little bit more explosive, may go a little further. I'm interested to see the spin and the landing angle and right. like that. See what one and a half degrees of loft does, essentially. All right, so let's talk about the format of this test now. Um, so in a head-to-head -head here, we have a little more time to hit maybe some more shots. Yep. And also, you say you've got a golf shaft right here. Yeah, so the nice thing is, yeah, with two, two club heads, we can spend a little more time. So I can get 10 shots total with each club. Okay. So regardless of which one I go with first, I'll hit five shots with that. Then I'll hit 10 shots with the next club. Then I'll come back around and hit five more. Uh, I'm not going to swing full out. I'm also not going to swing very, very slow either. I'm yeah. going to kind of ride in the middle, just some smooth swings. I do have the Nippon NS Pro 950 GH Neo stiff golf shaft. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll swing at a speed that Jerry fits into golfers with about, about stiff, gotcha. stiff flex. Uh, it's not going to be crazy fast, it's not going to be crazy slow, just kind of around the middle. Sure, sure. All right, well, I think there's nothing left to do but to start hitting some shots here and see what the data tells us. Sounds good. That was a little faster. Interesting. Did you feel like you mishit that? Yeah. It was a little on the tall side. Okay. I think that's why that spin dropped to 4,300. Yeah, well, and then the splash was down too. That's what I was looking at. But it looks like it's a good dispersion, so. Oh, that one's hit a little hard. Look at that. Swing. Yep. Definitely louder. That was better. Eight seven one. I just do remember your, uh, you know, when you hit game improvement irons, the ball doesn't, stays right doesn't because want to turn you over. play that draw and you have that face open and then you expect it to draw back and it doesn't. It doesn't, no. All right, so Thomas, five shots in with each. Uh, first question, as usual, uh, look, feel, sound, differences between the two. 
At address, the look is very similar between yeah. the two of them. Now, when I start kind of looking at the bottom, kind of sp start spinning the club head around a little bit, you definitely see a little bit more on the underside yeah. of the you know, JPX 923. It's just a little bit larger, yeah, uh, a little bit larger kind of sole compared to the Pro 225. But you know, looking down at an address, honestly, they look pretty <laughs> similar. The mm -hmm. JPX 923 is probably a little bit larger from heel to toe. But otherwise, they look pretty similar to the dress. Yeah, and I think it's that that's what the what Mizuno is going for with the Hot Metal Pro version is they wanted to build the game improvement iron in the body, I guess, of a player resistance iron. And yep. I think they've done that pretty well with this. Yeah, done a good job. Uh, we got to talk about fuel. Mm -hmm. um, this is where you know you do notice it. I mean, yeah. Mizuno is no, known for once you hit a Mizuno, you can't go back kind of right. thing. That buttery feel. You definitely notice it with the Pro 225. Once we start getting into the JPX 923, it feels more explosive off the face. Yeah. It is a little firmer. Now, it's not as loud and clicky as other game from an iron out there, um, but it definitely is a little bit louder and feels more explosive yeah. off I the mean, face. I mean, comparing that iron probably to a player's Mizuno iron, or at least in this case, the, uh, um, an iron from the Mizuno Pro line, it probably isn't fair to it because like you said, comparatively to other game improvement irons, it feels really good, and it is rather soft sounding, but yep. you get into this category with the Mizuno Pro irons, and then it seems like it's a, not a fair fight, essentially. Right. Okay, so let's talk about numbers. Um, one thing I'm kind of looking at here is that dispersion pattern right off the bat. Yep. I mean, yep. we've had this discussion quite a few times. When I hit a game improvement iron, I have a harder time turning it over. Yep. Now, people might think, well, this club's got more offset, wouldn't it be easy to turn over? It's just not as workable. Right. I like to play a little drawer, and mm -hmm. I just have a hard time turning the ball over with a game from iron. Yep. It just kind of flies high and straight. Right. Um, Mizuno Pro 225, you can see, was living on the left-hand side of the screen. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so that's it's interesting. We'll see how that works out after we hit five more shots with each one. But yep. right for that, you definitely can draw that conclusion there. And then looking at the actual numbers here, you can definitely see the loft taking effect here in terms of uh, the ball speed increase, right? I mean, we got almost five miles an hour there. Yep. Um, the launch angle is a little bit lower, of course, um, and then you get more distance out of it. But I'm seeing so far the spin is actually pretty comparable um, after five shots each there. So uh, something to note on that is if that Mizuno Pro stays down with the Hot Metal Pro, something to consider for golfers that are paying attention to spin if they're looking for something higher spinning in that player resistance iron. I mean, again, we have five shots left. Yeah. But. And it's, it's interesting, we take a look at the landing angle. 44.4 mm -hmm. wow. and 44.4. So this is where, mm -hmm. you know, loft, yeah, loft is important. You can, you can see that the ball is launching a little bit lower with the 923, but you will notice the MP225, a little bit higher, spin about the same, but you can see that that landing angle, yeah, it was about, about the same. Mm -hmm. So the way the center of gravity of the club head is, the way it's designed, it will influence on that a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it's yeah. not all loft and not all, you know, there, there's the weight within the club head, center of gravity in there, it also plays a, a part as well. So, all right, so you've got the Hot Metal Pro built already. You just hit five with that. We'll go okay. five with that and then back to the Mizuno Pro here. Sounds good. There's a better one. Oh, yeah. Hey, it turned over a little bit there. Here we go. That was a really good swing. That was a good one. A lot softer. There it is. There we go. Good enough. Beauty. Beauty. Both 87 point something. So we already talked about feel, look, sound. Um, we identified some trends in the initial set of data after five swings. Yep. Um, the one thing I note now that's changed, I think, is spin. Um, we saw they were pretty similar right away. They were both in the 4600s. And then after five more shots, we saw a few more in the 5000s with the Mizuno Pro 225 there that kind of brought up the average to 4814. 
and then the, the HMP Hot Metal Pro went down just a tad. Uh, so you have a 250 RPM-ish uh, difference there between the two. Yeah, and I think you, when you're touching on spin right now, you got to look at the consistency. You've got 10 shots in there, plus yeah. or minus 267, plus or minus 260. Mm -hmm. So even though we're talking about the, the 923 Pro being a little bit hotter mm -hmm. with regards to loft, it still was consistent. Yep. And it, actually, it was slightly more consistent by 7 RPMs. Right, so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> by a fraction. By yeah. a fraction there, uh, yeah. And then on the dispersion map, I think, to your point, we still saw overall, I mean, I think towards the end, you were kind of swinging the Hot Metal Pro in a way that these three kind of were able to draw across the center line, but still overall, you got more on the right side than the left side, and you still were able to turn that 225 over a lot better um, right. with that draw of yours. So there's something to be said there about the, the workability and, and being able to draw the ball versus, you know, with a club like the 225 versus the Hot Metal Pro that's designed with more weight low and designed basically for a high launch and straight ball flight. Yeah. Usually in fittings, I used to say every degree of loft is about, you know, three yards, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. we, can, we can see here that we were getting a little bit more, you know, carry distance out of having a little bit stronger loft. Mm -hmm. One and a half degree difference and we were getting almost 10 yards yeah. between the two of them. Um, you look here, the ball speed, you were talking 124.1 versus 128.4. I think we're seeing the ball speed would expect, but you will see that the JPX 923, you know, the Hot Metal Pro, it, it may be a little bit more explosive. Yeah, than you think so? Kind of than oh, that, that smash factor goes from 141 to 147, yeah. which seems like a pretty significant jump. Grant, I mean, we're talking about, again, degree and a half of loft, but I feel like that's a pretty significant jump in, I guess, the efficiency because we're, I mean, the Hotmail Pro was actually swung a little slower. We still saw 4.3 miles an hour faster on that right. ball speed right away. Yeah. So that seems like it's noteworthy that, you know, we've talked about the explosiveness of that iron, but it's definitely there in the data. Yeah, Hot Metal Pro, even with 0 0.3 mile an hour less club speed, um, had a higher height, 95 feet in the air versus the MP225, yeah. 93 feet in the air. You know, pretty similar landing angles there, right? Both hovering around about 45 yeah. degrees. Um, yeah, so pretty good. I find it interesting the dynamic loft. We were talking one and a half degree difference between the two clubs. There well, one point three. So I'm not yep. quite a robot. But not quite. This is this pretty, pretty darn close. good though. Right. Yeah. Um, and I think I mean it, it shows that these clubs are. I think they're different enough. You know, I think Mizuno does a great job of separating these two because I can see why viewers might kind of see that they're on top of each other or might think that they're too similar. But they're de like the the MP225 is definitely more players oriented. And the, the Hot Metal Pro is definitely more kind of game improvement oriented, right? Where you have a separation there, uh, not only in the loft, but I think the feel, the performance, the launch characteristics, um, I think there's definitely enough of a difference there where the Hot Metal Pro definitely kind of fits more of a mid to high handicap player where you could see a kind of a lower handicap player playing the 225s. Yeah, it's like, it's like a, you said, mid to high handicap golfer that maybe likes to look at a club that's a little bit sure. smaller looking down at it. Mm -hmm. And that's the advantage you got with the Hot Metal Pro versus just the Hot Metal is it looks a little sleeper looking look right. down at it. Yep. And these two clubs look very, very similar at address. Yeah, um, which I think that's what Mizuno was going for while also creating the different play characteristics. Yeah, but uh, if, you're, if you're a player that likes to work the ball a little bit easier, um, and I think the feel, you will notice right. a difference in the feel. If you just come in and test them against each other and yeah. compare them, you'll notice that the um, Mizuno Pro 225 mm -hmm. and that whole family, is, it's, it's significantly it's, softer. It's buttery, it's, yeah. It's buttery. Yeah, yeah, that Mizuno trait will never really go away. Um, it's been decades in the making now and they've made the softest feeling irons potentially in golf. So, uh, But great test here, uh, two really good irons. I know the 225s have already had a year of uh, really good performance for golfers and the JPX 923 series will not be any different here and the Hot Metal Pro is one of those irons that will perform really well in fitting so uh, golfers if you are interested in any of these irons uh, make sure you come in and get fit at Second Swing schedule it online at secondswing.com one of our fitters will take care of you get you set in a set of Mizuno irons for 2023 so Thomas thanks for hitting the shots uh, talking about the data uh, really good stuff here today